Faced with this intermediate form dilemma, Darwin's only explanation was that the fossil record of his time was insufficient. In putting forward his theory, Darwin claimed that living species are evolved from one another, and when the fossil record is examined, millions of intermediate forms will be found, in the hope that these would be discovered in due time. The fact is, however, that today's fossil record is sufficiently rich to completely demolish Darwin's claim. Between Darwin's time and the present day, some 100 million fossils belonging to 250,000 species recorded by scientists have been collected, yet there is not one single intermediate form fossil among them. Today, 99% of the fossils in the Earth's strata have been unearthed and examined. The total absence of any such transitional fossils among them shows that it is logically impossible that life forms will suddenly emerge from the remaining 1%. To hope, nonetheless, that intermediate life forms will one day be found is nothing more than evolutionist wishful thinking. Thomas Neville George, a professor of geology at the University of Glasgow, admitted as much a long time ago. There is no need to apologize any longer for the poverty of the fossil record. In some ways it has become almost unmanageably rich and discovery is outpacing integration. The fossil record nevertheless continues to be composed mainly of gaps. Evolutionists constantly attempt to answer the question of how life emerged and developed by resorting to speculation. But were they fossils going back in an unprejudiced and objective manner? They would easily find the answer to that question. Life and the universe itself are not the work of blind chance. And all things, living or otherwise, were created by Almighty God. Mm -hmm.